Dwarf dog or dwarfism in dogs. Explanations. The number of dwarf dogs is constantly increasing worldwide. Some of them are not naturally dwarfs but due to human intervention in order to respond to a growing craze for XXS doggies despite the health problems that this causes in these animals. For other dogs, dwarfism may for example be due to a pituitary disorder or even to nutritional deficiencies, but in these specific cases, it is by no means sought to satisfy the insane desires of certain people. Let's do a check-in. Dwarf dog created by man, the methods used. As bewildering as it may seem, humans have such a fondness for many dogs that today a breed is reduced in size by various means for the sole purpose of satisfying demand. Inbreeding. The reduction in size of a dog is achieved, within a breed, by having only the smallest individuals mate. Thus, over the lines, we have seen the size of the dogs gradually decrease. But that's not all. We favor inbreeding in order to preserve the genetics. Indeed, dogs that possess a degree of relatedness and mate with each other produce litters that retain certain selected characteristics. The puppies born from these unions in turn transmit to their offspring, always through consanguineous marriages, the desired characteristics. It takes several generations to achieve the ultimate goal. It does not matter if this seriously impacts the immune system of these unfortunate animals and exposes them to genetic pathologies. Dwarf dogs are popular and sell for gold. The mix of dog breeds. This method makes it possible to obtain dwarf dogs much more quickly than by consanguineous crossings. A single cross between an individual of one line and that of another breed is enough to miniaturize the future puppies of the litter. Extremely profitable since the expected result is immediate, this process is no less risky for the animals. It causes many health problems such as genetic diseases within the breed, a drug sensitivity due to the mutation of the MDR1 gene, certain drugs becoming neurotoxic, that is to say that they act on the nervous system of the dog like a poison, an eye malformation called microthalmia, deafness. Many people might think that crossing purebreds would avoid all of these problems. It is not so, a designer dog remains a hybrid. Moreover, in this canine population, there is a risk factor for genetic disease in 40% of cases due to a mutation. In addition to this, these dogs may well be the result of crossbreeding of pure breeds, they are more subject than others to pathologies likely to have a hereditary component, as is the case, for example, with many cancers. Achondroplasia, a shortening of the dog's limbs wanted by humans. We sometimes speak of short-limbed dwarfism in canines. This morphology is a little different from dwarfism, but the subject has its place here. It is the result of a selection making it possible to create short-legged dogs, like the dachshund which, on the other hand, has always had this morphology, or even the dachshund and the basset hound which do not would not be of this world without this genetic mutation sought by man. Chondrodysplasia. This is the other scholarly term used to refer to the shortening of a dog's limbs due to malfunctioning bone and cartilage development. This absolutely does not worry the fanatics of short-legged dogs who find these funny doggies ultra cute. Except that achondroplasia is not without causing major problems for these animals which recurrently present, coxofemoral dysplasia, osteoarthritis, arthritis, herniated discs, degenerative intervertebral disc disease. These dogs suffer physically and sometimes have to undergo surgery, osteotomy, allowing for example to put a bone back in the axis or to align the vertebrae. Why are dwarf dogs so popular? The reasons that lead many people to want a dog of reduced size are not very laudable, and none can justify that we intervene on canine breeds to reduce them as we do today. The main reasons invoked are difficult to accept for all those who defend the animal cause, but it is all the same interesting to know them, if only to realize the level of stupidity that some humans can reach. Fans of pin dogs justify themselves by citing the following reasons. Perfect adaptation to urban life unlike large dogs too bulky, less food to buy, therefore more economical, since the dwarf dog eats little compared to a Great Dane for example, very easy to transport, it is the dog that you slip into a travel bag without worry, considered cuter than an XXL dog because the dwarf dog keeps a puppy aspect, the popularity of dwarf dogs is therefore a fad and their fanatics are so stupid that they do not care at all about the health problems it causes for these animals. Pituitary dwarfism in dogs. The pituitary gland is a gland that produces several hormones, including growth hormone or STH which is none other than growth hormone. In the event of a deficit of STH, 
The puppy suffers from a delay in development while nevertheless retaining a harmonious line since its body, its head and